Generic greetings and welcome to sheltered today's beverages. A nice cup of cranberry and raspberry juice drink, very refreshing. So, Sheltered is a survival game where you and your family have to hunker down in a bunker and you will upgrade said bunker, maintain it, dig and expand and build things in there. You'll then have to leave in order to search the surrounding locations, in order to find weapons, equipment and just general stuff to keep your shelter running. Obviously food and fuel are also important. You'll encounter different people, you'll trade, you'll fight, you'll sometimes run away and also have different events and quests. So there's quite a bit of game here. I've featured it several times on the channel, most recently as a couple of standalone videos, but I have done a series on it in the past, but that's quite a while ago now, so I think those are quite dated. There's been more stuff added to the game, and also I'm a bit less incompetent than I was. I think I know a little bit more, so hopefully <laughs> we'll be a bit more successful. This is obviously going to be a bit of a series on this one. In order to just give you fair warning, this is probably going to be quite slow paced just because of the nature of the game. So the videos are probably going to be a little bit longer than usual. The game will have times where it will just be quite uh, uneventful. It just is the nature of the game. So just, you know, everyone has their own tastes and preferences. So I'm just letting you that from now, from this point onwards. That if there's times where for 10 minutes we're just waiting for resources to come in, there's not much to be said. I mean, that's just how it is. So either way, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create our family and then we'll get the first couple of days done. So we're going to go to play and we'll create the family. Now, I should point out as well, I'm no expert at the game, certainly not. However, I have played enough and got my own sort of thoughts and opinions on how you should make the family. And there's many ways of doing it. There are certain builds that are just better than others. I think... If you're going to level criticism at the game, you could say A, it can be quite random at times and you can either get screwed over or be really lucky and that sort of thing. It, you know, and there's very, there's sometimes no middle ground. And the second one is that there are just some things that you just want to pick off the bat because it's just better for you. Um, speaking of that, we're going to make our family. Now, I tend to have. Well, you have four family members. I tend to make it so that two of those family members can fight quite well, and the other two are more about building. So let's go on that one. So this is Joe. We're going to randomise a couple of times, and we've got Daniel here. So Daniel is courageous and has a good upbringing. Now, courageous is a good trait because when they attack, they actually get, I believe it is, out of the three attacks, two of them automatically hit. So that's a good one. And if we're going to t turn them into a fighter, we'll go for trouble, and you can see the stats change. Intelligence is to do with I believe when you're building something that goes up let me just check the help here uh, intelligence used for recruitment attempts high number is the better chance you have to dealing with them okay fair enough charisma is to do with talking to people you get better better price and things like that. perception is spotting equipment and gear and other things items in buildings dexterity is running away and strength is when you're hitting stuff so there's Daniel we'll go to next and we now have Sandra and that's not too bad we'll go with well Again, going to have both of the adults as a as probably the fighter, but I'm not going to have not going to have troubled troubled on on Sandra. We'll have violent, and I don't know about the other trait, other trait, other trait. What should we have? Probably, I think we will probably go with courageous again, just so we can always send them out there. And then we have the um, two children, and what we'll do is have one of them. The, one of them is going to be good at perception, so we want someone with very good perception. By the way, you'll notice that the stats on here, the names and also the statistical layout is different from the, the adults. They just don't have the highest of stats. There is alert, so perception 7, so that should be fine. And actually, no, do you know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is make a party that goes out and looks and fights. So that will probably be Daniel and maybe Jason, we'll see. But Sandra will stay in, so we won't go with Courageous. Instead, what we'll go with is well-educated, perhaps? Hmm. I probably want high charisma for trading, although well-rounded isn't a terrible idea. We'll go with well-rounded, and in terms of a trait, we've got... Where is it? Resourceful. High chance of recovering more items when deconstructing, and... Proactive. Moves faster in the shelter and while exploring. That's not too bad. I mean, resourceful. That's good. Hands-on. Craft and fix faster. We're going to go with hands-on. So, well-rounded and hands-on. Okay. So, we've got... Carol. Why not? Well-spoken. She's going to be...
very perceptive yet alert and don't need proactive probably courageous again because this is our fighting party there are ways and means of uh, different ways and means of doing things but I found I found success with this layout with this build and then finally we'll have Jeffrey who is going to be our crafter although rather resourceful they're going to be taking stuff apart because that's quite a good trait later on and smarty pants know it all <laughs> Rough and tumble, well spoken. I think brain box should be fine. Intelligence, charisma, perception, dexterity, and strength. All quite low on the bottom ones. Intelligence, recruitment attempts. Higher the number, the better the chance they have recruiting. Well, we're not going to be recruiting with them. So it's more likely to be well spoken is going to be a better trait for us. Charisma is using trade attempts. Higher number, the better the chance of getting good trades with NPCs. Okay. We'll go with that. So next, and then you get to pick your your pet. Uh, we'll go for name. Generickson, obviously. And in terms of the pet, there's many options. Dog, cat, horse, fish. That is, what's that, a snake? But basically, I believe that the horse is very 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 good because you travel a lot faster a lot further and when you get a saddle you can carry more stuff so that is what we're going to go with no tutorial because i've played the game enough although i'm sure i forgot more than i uh picked up if that's possible so this is going to be the first couple of days so what we'll do is we will immediately go for daniel here and we'll go to set up expedition so it'll be daniel it will be carol and then we're going to go on the map. And oh, straight away, this is a randomly generated map, by the way. We notice that we're in a forest. Now, if you go in the forest, you can get like wood and things like that and chop it up and that sort of thing. You can also find bears, so that's a bit of a problem. We're going to go there, and then there, and then over to here. Then we're going to go and visit this town here. And you might notice that we don't have enough water, but if I say cycle the pet, oh, we don't have enough for that either. So if we get rid of some of those, well, we'll have to get rid of quite a lot of them, I guess. We'll have to just go there, 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 in here. And then back. Huh. We're probably just going to have to wait until it rains. Can we go there? We can. That'll do us for now. So the vehicle is the horse. Continue. What we'll do is equip some of your gas masks. So you can equip them with weapons. So weapons go here. You can equip them with a carrying item. So like a bag, a briefcase, hold all, satchel, that, etc. You've also got two of the blue items. I have no idea what that is doesn't actually say but I'm not going to do anything other than equip the gas mask so that should be fine and same thing for Carol and we'll send the party so do you want to send them to the wasteland yes we do and then what we'll do is take Sandra go down to our crafting bench upgrade and we're upgrading straight away to the level 2 workbench we're also going to get Jeffrey here to put on a suit he will put this suit on and then we'll send him outside and he will be going over to uh, repair well, repair the filters and that sort of thing. So we'll say fix that one and then fix that one. I'm also going to turn on automation. So on the top left here we can see these are all of their stats. So like the thirst and hunger and not stats, sorry, their needs. If any of these get too high, that could be bad. Uh, obviously things like hunger and thirst, those are critical needs. If they go too far, it is a problem. Let's go to accept the transmission. So, hello, Daniel here. We've stumbled across a school and looks like it might have some good loot. Want us to take a look? We'll say search the location. I'm not going to be reading out all of the blurb that comes up because, quite frankly, a lot of it is just the repeat of that. Straight away, rain on the surface. This is good and bad in equal measure. The reason for that is we don't have any extra water butts, so we're going to go up to the maximum of 30 and then it's going to stop. So I'm going to wait, hope that Sandra gets that done quite quickly and it looks like she is. And then we'll put another water butt in. I'm going to also put Sandra on the automated mode. So it means you don't have to micromanage all of them. If you don't have that, then you'll have to take care of those needs. So let's go to accept transmission. Daniel the base, we found something at the school. Are you interested? Yes, so we'll examine the items. And wow, immediately the school has got a lot of stuff. So the general rule of thumb is you carry as much as you want. And then you can dump it on the way. We're going to be taking some very specific items here. We're taking the carrier bag. We're going to take... Basically, I'm just going to do this. Right. So what don't we want? We don't want the water, but we do want the nail. We don't want the rubber, but we do want the plank. 
We've also got a saw and a chisel. A tool to etch wood increases repairing and crafting speed. That's in the shelter. And then we've also got lenses. So I'm going to get rid of the lenses because, quite frankly, we don't need them at the moment. Same as the battery. But I will take the cement. And I think that will probably do. Actually, we'll probably take the lens because we've got them in a stack of two. Empty petrol can is useless. Circuit brake is good, but a bit more advanced for us at this stage. And then we'll confirm that. What I also want to do is then go straight away over to the... Where is it? Hang on, I have to check this out. Accept the transmission. Found a church. We'll search the location. I'm trying to get... View map, there it is. And I'm going to go over to Daniel, and you can look at this. You can either recall them, or you can go and check out what they're carrying. So this is what the party's shared inventory is. But I'm going to equip that carrier bag, which not only takes it out of the slot... I don't know how a carrier bag takes up the same slot as a bag of cement, but let's just not get on to that. Uh, but the equipment the bag also gives us a couple more, a couple more slots for carrying. So yes, I will equip those items. I'm just going to double check that it doesn't have the gas mask on there, but don't think it can remove it. And we'll confirm that, and there we go. And we'll close that. And once she is done, we'll say craft item over to tier 2, the medium water butt here. And then, quite frankly, I'm just going to put it somewhere. It doesn't matter where I put it. I just need to get it built because you can move it around the shelter once you've done. So that's fine. Over to Jeffrey here. Jeffrey is currently, yeah, you go, water storage is at maximum capacity. So if I get the this medium water butt, that should be quite good. I'm also very tempted to build a third. I accept the transmission. The church has some useful items. We'll have a look at that. So straight away, we're going to get the wood and we're going to get the pipe. It does say a thin hollow metal pipe used in crafting. That's good. We'll also get the cement and we'll take that there. We'll also take the food and we'll take probably the sand. So sand and cement and limestone. We can start making more uh, things to explore in the shelter. And we'll take the spring. I don't need the matches nor the glass jar at this stage. And we'll confirm that and say yes. And that's fine. Jeffrey is currently working on repairing these two vents. This is the oxygen vent. That is the vent for the Jenny Rater. Accept the transmission. We've got a small house. Again, we'll search that. Looks like that is now crafted. So I'm going to go up to tier 2 again. And I can make another water butt. But is it worth it? Because what I really need eventually is a recycler. But quite frankly, another medium water, but I don't think will be a terrible idea. Maybe it is. Maybe this is going to be the death of us. But being able to store 90 water, I think, is probably a very decent. Oh, sorry. I said that, that one was the vent for the generator. It's not. That's the water one. I think that'll be quite decent. Anyway, we'll examine items in the house there. So we'll take cement, we'll take the sand. We've got a bar of soap, burnt clothes, broken radio, and a switch. So only rid of the switch I would like, because, well, we've got eight soap. We haven't even got anywhere to shower yet. And the rest's fine. So we'll confirm that. And then there we are. Soon as they come back, by the way, I'll probably send them straight out, because I want to uh, I want to keep searching that. Right, speaking of... I don't know, hang on, accept transmission, search the shack. I'm going to go over to craft item there and over to the, right at the bottom here. And this is a stable. I'm going to put a stable, where well, I'm going to put a stable? Put a stable in there, I think. This is where the horse is normally stationed at. But if you build a stable, it's better for them, I believe. They're going to rest and stuff. So, it looks like Sandra is quite tired. But what I'm going to do is craft item and... Basically, tell them to start digging. I know they're tired. I know they've been working. Let's examine some items here. There's a crowbar. Hmm. Right, okay, this is going to change things. So we've got a crowbar. Hmm. Equip and use on expeditions. You can use crowbars to open things. Fuel, we've only got eight. So I'd like to bring the fuel back. Don't need any more cement. Don't need any bullets, pistol ammo, because I've got no, got, I haven't got a pistol. So what can I get rid of? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. These stay where you drop them, I believe. So I'm going to get rid of the lens and take the take the petrol can. The mortar is something we don't need at this stage. I would like the crowbar. I don't know if it's worth it. There's some fertilizer. We've also got some metal. You know what? I'll take the crowbar, confirm that, because I believe they'll be coming back now anyway. If we check that out of view map, they are they're heading back anyway. That was the last that last thing that they were searching, I believe. Oh, well, Jeffrey's going to finish this off, and then we'll say return suit. Oh, I can't, because you can only have two. 
actions ordered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, return suit there. We'll also have to... Up oh, and actually, no, we won't return suit. <laughs> we'll tell them to repair that door. Because you know, if you notice there, durability, or integrity, 40%. Safe fix. So here is our search team coming in. <clears throat> and it takes some time for them to do that. And there you go. You can see they require a shower and also require some food. So we'll take all. Uh, we are on 30 out of 32 for our storage. We'll confirm that and say yes. And what I'll also do is put them on automation. There you go. So let them do their own thing. Now, you can see Daniel is wanting a shower, but there's no way for them to shower. So as soon, as soon as Carol is finished eating, now, he's still a bit hungry, but I'm going to say set up expedition. I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Carol and Daniel, back to the map. This time, we have 50. So, let's do that. Could go a bit further, but probably not worth it. We'll confirm that. We'll equip the carrier bag. We'll equip the gas mask. We'll equip the crowbar. Equip the gas mask. Don't need anything else. Send party. Yes. And they will take the horse. Hopefully. So. You can build a... You can build a... Where is it? A saddle for the horse, but you need leather. So. And we need... We need things before that. We need a shower. We need a bed. We need a toilet. We need a mop bucket. Because it's very dirty. And if anyone needs food, there's some dirt around there. That's going to cause some problems. So Sandra, once she's finished that, I'm going to say craft item. Mop, mop and bucket. You can go there. One of the... What's this? Found a church. We'll search the location. I tend to always search the locations, even if we've literally just done it. Because if you take items, and then you encounter someone, you can maybe trade them those items that may be useless to you at that stage. And then there you are. So we were down to about 20... I think it was 22. I think it was about 22 water, but now it's raining again. This is good for us. Approach strangers. Okay. Probably not the way forward at this stage, because approaching them, all they're going to do is fight, trade, and want to be recruited. We don't want to recruit them. We have nothing to trade, and I don't really want to fight them. So, we have options to trade, but there's nothing I can trade, so I'm just going to flee. See you later. And they're running after us. We did manage to get away, though. That's fine. So, looks like she's drinking water there. No problem at all. Well, I've got a school there, so we'll invest in my gate. Clean the shelter. I think, quite frankly, we're going to return the suit. Actually, I think she'll stop doing that. Craft item. We want to build a nice bed. You can just build sleeping bags if you wish, but I think a nice bed would be the way forward. I'm going to place it there. Then clean shelter. We want at least two beds, a shower and a toilet. The shower and the toilet could just be buckets in different configurations, but that's pretty much what they're going to be. At least we have them. We'll examine the items found at the school. Take the lot. Absolutely take the lot. Nylon ropes. A random mannequin head. I don't know why <laughs> there's mannequin parts in the game. I assume that you can put a mannequin together. You may also notice there's a camper van on the top right here. You can check the vehicle and you can actually build it. And there you go. I'm going to... Let's see what this is. The generator is on. 6% integrity and fuel is fine. So we're going to fix that. Accept transmission. Search the location. Sandra is extremely tired. And also needs the toilet. So you can see she's going to go straight to bed. As soon as that's probably half, I'll I'll just say not out of bed. And at the moment we do need we haven't got a shower build. Craft item, tier two. We can go down. And this is where we've got all manner of stuff. I really would like a small crate. But I think we're probably gonna have to go with we're probably gonna have to forego it. Where is the toilet in here? Fire extinguisher, spike trap. What's that? Prospector's kit? Yes, prospector's kit. Hmm. There's the makeshift toilet, which is good. Well, certainly better than that. 
but we need nails and we haven't got them. So it's going to be a bucket toilet right next to the bucket that you clean with. I really hope they don't mix that up. That's a horrid thing. Right, so we found some stuff here. Going to get rid of the mannequin heads, two of, but we are going to take the gas mask. We'll leave the broken TV, radio and things like that. The reason you would want to keep these is because you can then... I'm just going to get rid of that water. Well, no, I might as well keep it. Always keep it. You can always trade it. Although the trade value on these might be better. I will keep it for now. Anyway, does it show you trade value there? It doesn't. Yeah, you can you can use the recycler to break these down into component parts. And it's very important that you get that built. I wouldn't say as soon as possible, but yeah, getting it built is very, very good. So it's Carol. I found a small pharmacy, so we'll search the location. So obviously because we've got Carol, she will be spotting more items, which is good. That's Jeffrey building the toilet. Looks like Sandra is still still quite tired, but I don't think you can die from tiredness in the game. At least I don't I don't think you can. <laughs> I've uh, not actually seen it happen. We'll approach some strangers and we'll see if we can trade. This is something I really I really just like to approach all the strangers as much as possible. Hey, over there, confirm trade. And honestly, not much traded. You know how much stuff's worth. So she's got food. So again, this is this is good. So we're going to be able to trade for food. What don't we want? Well, we don't need that water. We don't need that rubber. And that's the exact trade value for us. And you can see trade like the toys trade value fifty. And we'll trade that over. And not only do we get something we want and get rid of some, I wouldn't say garbage stuff, but stuff we don't want. We also level up in charisma, which means future trades should be better. Excellent. Okay. So he's almost, Jeffrey's almost finished that, and he's now then using said toilet. Accept the transmission, examine some items in this small pharmacy. There is nothing of great note. Anti-radiation anti meds are certainly something I would like. The adrenaline's there. Boost the strength, I don't really need that, nor do I need the rest of it. Wool would be nice, but no. Confirm. Done. Excellent. So, oh, sorry, use toilet. And, there, uh, yeah. The problem, one of the problems is you get sort of a sticky thing. Like I can't unselect them, and sometimes when you click on them, it doesn't move over to them. So if I'm, I, you have to click on the bed rather than on a head. Anyway, craft item. We're going to go for a shower. We do need a shower, and we'll put a shower in up there. Water storage is at max capacity. That's fine. That's excellent. <laughs> Accept the transmission. Examine the items, and it's fairly garbage. We have pliers, water. Knives, coal, yeah, we don't really want any of that. I'd like the pliers, increase repair and crafting speed, that would be nice. I'm going to get rid of the teddy bear and take the pliers. Confirm that. You can see there's a rabbit running around out there. You can build traps and have uh, and, and harvest the meat off them and also get hide as well if it's like deer that's going past and things like that. Anyway, so it looks like Jeffrey is um, almost certainly he's going to be going down and having a sleep, which is totally understandable. And Carol is now using the toilet. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. This is what I'm saying about sometimes it can... Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Anyway. So I'll stop that there. Click on Sandra. Accept transmission. Examine the items in this small house. There's some fuel. There's some books. And hidden items lockbox. These items are currently locked inside a sturdy lockbox. If we had a lockpick set, we could pick the lock and access them. Well, we don't, so we can't. End of conversation. We're going to get rid of the limestone and take the plastic. Confirm that. I do find that the raw resources, wood, plastic, nails, I, sometimes it's just, you go for days without finding them. And it's really infuriating when you've got all this, like you've got motors and uh, switches and all these sort of things that, I wouldn't call them advanced stuff, but certainly in this scenario, yes, more advanced. You think, yeah, you know, why, uh, why am I finding all of those and not finding out other things? So she's just going to keep cleaning there. We're going to examine some items. We've got more books. We've got some nylon. I think that's nylon. Yes, it is. We got that says that's a gas mask for a second. I'm sure it did, but it's hidden items again, and then other stuff that we just don't care about. And then confirm. So she's cleaning this up. The reason you want to keep it clean is not just for because it's not not just because of aesthetics. It is simply because you will get food poisoning. You can get food poisoning if you've got dirt, especially around there. And having the shower there is actually not ideal. So what I might do is instead go to rearrange shelter and put that down there. And then I will confirm with space. You can see it moves automatically. It doesn't cost any actions. It's just, you know, 
something we can do. So digging out this area, that's fine. Accept the transmission, examine the items again. We've got another pair of plies, but plies don't stack. Fuel does stack, however, we can only stack up to five. And that's pretty much all we all we want. Although I'll take the other the other sand. I don't think I need any more fuel. I've got nine fuel and I've got five on me. As long as you get a couple of fuel on each run, you're pretty much okay. So, there you are. Set the transmission, search the location. We'll double check the map and see where we are now. We are pretty much in the town centre. Yeah, as we expected. Then we've got these two areas and then we'll head off. Let's have a quick look at the map actually because I didn't do that. So you can see it's actually quite mountainous around here. That's, that's bad. We've also got on the right a fairly big town to the northeast there. A couple of little other odds and ends. Lots of things in the forest as well, which is interesting. And then a huge couple of settlements. Probably just set, well, That's probably just one. You can see there's not much leeway there. And then something over there. So we've actually been placed in... I wouldn't say a great place. It's not ideal. It's not, there's not a really big town next to us. But that's, I guess, an advantage of having the water that we do that we can travel quite far. So having these extra water butts is probably the way forward there. So we're going to che uh, check on Jeffrey here. You can see he's currently he's quite okay for the tiredness there. He's quite alert, so we're going to get him up. We will found some someone in this small house is signaling to us. Well, we'll get involved. We'll just have a little chat or a fight. You know, either which way. So, well, looky me. Look what the wind blew in. It's a good thing for you or for me. You want a partner? Look no further. I'm pretty old now and I've got to be good. Uh, and I got to be that way by get being good. I will reject. Sorry, we don't want the might. That choose all kept me alive. And I'll still be surviving long after the wolves have stripped your bones clean. Okay. Don't want to add anyone into the shelter at this stage. Certainly not against the whole idea, but at this stage, no, we don't want to be doing that. And examine the items at the small house there. We've got some sand, we've got some wiring, circuit boards, records and toys. No, that, that'll do us quite nicely. And another lockbox by the look of it too. So we're going to check on Sandra. Sandra is very, very tired there. Hunger and thirst is actually all right. So we'll let them finish digging this out and then it means I can move the water butts out the way. Search the location. What is this? It's a small petrol station. Hmm, I wonder what we will find. If I craft item, is there a way I can get a box? I really need, and I think that is the right term, need a box, a small crate. The problem is that my storage is currently... Hmm. 27 of 32. And we've seen the amount of items they're going to be bringing back. So there will be some excess. So we're down 80 water. Oh, how shocking. No water contamination. You do use water when you have a shower, I believe. Well, traditionally you do. Whether or not it's simulated in here, I'm not entirely convinced. So we've got wood and we've got a pipe. Not going to take the pipe, we've got enough of that. Going to take the sand and five fuel. It's difficult not to take it. Get rid of the cement. Ooh, do I really want the cement? I'll get rid of the metal and take all that fuel. There we go. So, Sandra's finished digging and now she's going to go straight to sleep. That's totally understandable. I will rearrange shelter. One, two, three. Although they have to go down to use that. So maybe that's not the right place for it. Can I rearrange this? This is the medical crate. Hang on. I'm going to rearrange the entire shelter here. Let's just accept the transmission, approach some strangers. I want to re rearrange the entire shelter. There's no need to have things where they are. Hey there, hold up for a second. Trade. Want to trade? Yes, they do want to trade. They've got anti-radiation meds. I will ask to take them. And I will trade over two books. And there we go. And you see Christmas gone up in Carol. Seems to be random which one, which one goes up. Okay. So I'm going to... Rearrange the shelter once again. You can rearrange some of these. It's a clipboard. There's the mop and bucket. There's the toilet. I tend to put the medicine cabinet right near the front. As with the storage. Storage actually doesn't matter where it goes, so I'm put it down there. 
water we'll keep up here. And we'll do the same for food. Hang on. You see a deer is just wandering past there. There we go, that should do us. And then we've got the toilet, which will go down there. Storage, which can go under there. And that's a little bit more efficient. And confirm. Ah, oh, we can't. Confirm. And sadly, that, that was going off there. And because I was messing around, doing, I wouldn't say messing around, but because I was doing that, sadly I missed it. Oh, well. Rearrange shelter. So the toilet's down here, as is the shower. That'll do us for now. But. Ah, here we are. Here's our intrepid explorers with lots of needs for food, shower, sleep, the lot. Horse is now in there. Zeus. Didn't rename the horse because I thought, decent name. And ironically, I should have called the horse Pegasus or something. Let's go and get some child labour on the go. Jeffrey can start digging out on the right hand side. We do need another bed at minimum, I think. And certainly more. Uh, more. more more crate, more crate, more better. But we'll have to see how we get on there. So perception's gone up, so we'll spot more things. We will go for take all, and there's no room to store everything. So this is where we can start moving things around. So what don't we need? Well, we don't need. We'll get rid of two of those sand, and we'll take the carrier bag, and we're going to get rid of probably the fuel and then take that. The reason I'm doing it that way is because I'll go over to confirm. Yes, and those items will sit in that bin. So Daniel is increasing their perception. So that'll sit in that bin. So it means that we can do things there. Um, good grief. So Carol is very, very sleepy and needs toilet and shower and all sorts. So Sandra, we're going to get out. We'll say add fuel to that. She'll go up the ladder and add fuel because it's on, currently on 1.2 of 2. So we want to do that. I also probably want to... I could upgrade it and upgrade its capacity. Ah, we don't have the valves. See, increasing the capacity would be... You've got other options for upgrading your durability and efficiency. I find the durability, you couldn't care less because you just, you've normally got a lot of time to repair at this stage anyway. But capacity is good because it takes it out of your inventory and puts it there. So I find that to be quite good. And Carol's got food poisoning. Brilliant. It's not brilliant. It's not brilliant at all. It's 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 the opposite of brilliant. But anyway, what I'm doing at the moment is using Sandra to craft some cement because that'll take sand, and we have got sand in this bin. We also need to feed the horse. One of the mm, Quirks, let's call it quirks rather than exploitation of unintended game mechanics, is when the horse is out, you don't need to feed it. So if you constantly do searches and stuff, then it can work out quite well. So, looks like Daniel is... Yeah, we, I'd like to send them out, but it's not going to happen. So you can see I've crafted the item there. I can take the sand. That's all the sand taken. And all I've done now really is... Uh, I've just lost some of the... Well, it'll be some of the fuel... That's not too much of a problem for me. Once he's done that, getting to clean the shelter because there's food there. The problem is that the from the pantry, all they do is they go, ooh, we need some food. So they then immediately, oh, he's done that, has he? Craft item. I'm exhausted. Yes, you are, but the rest of your stuff is fine. So what else can we build? I'd like to build another bed, but we haven't got nails, and we don't have... See, this is what I'm saying. Don't have nails... So we can't build boxes, can't build shelves, can't build beds. Yeah, we just, I, I really want to really like tier three as well. Unlikely we're going to get there. A satchel for carrying stuff. Hmm. Need nails. Need, 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 need nails. Okay. And also a transistor valve and some plastic for that recycler. Okay. What else can we make? We make a carrier bag, but we, that'll use plastic, and I certainly don't want to use plastic at this stage. We also have a snare trap. When in doubt, expand out. And, aha. Uh -huh. So, let's see. We do want to talk, but 
but it depends who can, who's the best at talking. Respond. So, Rebecca. Hello in there. Would you happen to need anything? I found a bunch of stuff that I have no use for. Yes. And... Oh. Okay. So, we'll take the metal. Why not? We'll take all the hinges. Might as well take two circuit boards because we can stack up to five and we've already got three. No, oh, so that's trade value, not how many we've got. Sorry, trade value one, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know how many we've got. Motors. We'll just take we'll just take the lot, really. We can always get rid of other things. Limestone. You can only trade up to five things in total though. And we'll take some switches. So trade value is fifty, so that should be two teddy bears in this currency, I believe. Do we have any teddy bears? No, we do not. Could just trade water, but that's getting onto dangerous ground, actually. Anti-radiation meds. We'll trade one of them over. Oh, actually, no books. One, two. Job done. Trade done. And uh, there you are. So summons at the intercom. Yeah, open the item. And we're at 32 with 32, so at least we've done a, a, a wee bit of trading there. So that is fine. And there you are. So, for Sandra, we will craft an item, and once again, we're going to craft the cement, because we're just using those resources, we might as well. Now, I'm going to get Carol up, and we can have Derek shower with soap. Oh, oh dear, oh, oh, Carol. Whoopsie, that's, that's bad. She's thrown up all over the floor. She does have food poisoning. Luckily, you don't throw up when you're in bed. Again, uh, not historically, but not traditionally. <laughs> yeah, but there you are. So, Sandra's finished building that. Craft an item. Because of the items that we have, there's not much we can do. There's no point in really making a snare trap at this stage, because as soon as we've done that, you then need to store it, and I don't have the... I don't have ways and means of building a small freezer, because I need hinges. I thought I'd trade, hin I thought I'd trade hinges in motor. Huh. Three, but we definitely traded. Probably just didn't bring over because we couldn't uh, carry it. Oh well. Craft item. We could go for digging, but... Do you know what? I'm going to... Set up expedition with Daniel... And Sandra. Uh, or should we take Carol? We can't take Carol because she's got food poisoning. Yes. Could take Jeffrey though. We'll do that. So what I'm going to do now is look down uh, through all of these and look at anything that says it's got nails. Sadly, it is not in alphabetical order. Because that would be useful. See, that's, the school's got a nail gun, but no nails. Brilliant. Nails in the church there. Nail gun again in the school. Hmm. What applies bucket knife seeds fertilizer? So basically, go to the church, go down here, and do I want to just go to the end? No, definitely not. Might as well do that. Then again, if you go in there... You know, it's like feature creep, isn't it? Like, if you're going there, how far? Should you just go over there and then there and... No, because that's far too much. We need to probably take about 30 at an absolute max. So... Thirty-five. We can manage that. Confirm. Equip the gas mask. Oh, no, that's the party. That's different. That's like, so you're trading. Equip that. Equip.
equip the gas mask stone, equip the crowbar, and I could I could take like the books for trading, but inevitably we'll find loads of stuff. So there we go, and they're gonna head off into the wasteland. Both are tired, but at this stage it doesn't matter. So horse will go out. They'll go out. Should be sorted there. And we're prioritising nails. Got a craft. We need three nails for the small crate. The crate is is basically the thing we need now, the most, because we're bringing stuff back and we can't store it. Um, upgrade. I can't upgrade to the next one. I, I just sure. I shame not the hinges. And Sandra sadly is throwing up all over the place. So we'll say clean shelter. She can still do things. She'll just. Now and again, just throw up. And craft on that side. Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. Craft item. Oh, we can't do that. Can I cancel that? Don't know if I can. So, Carol, clean shelter. No, oh, she's throwing up again. Day four. So, straight away, accept transmission, found a church, search the location. That's where we're going to get the nails. I mean, I'm sure we can find four nails in a church. I mean,. I know probably not, because the game, this is where it starts to be a bit annoying. But we'll do what we can. So, rain on the surface, excellent. So even though we were down to about 20 water, we're now going to go probably up to maximum, which is excellent. So you can see she's working there. She's picked up the mop. She'll walk around and do all of that, which is good. We'll accept the transmission, approach some strangers. We will sneak away, see if it is successful. Don't think I'm being detected. Close call there. Continue. There's no need to go and talk to them at this stage because I'm not in the mood for fighting. And I'm not... I've got nothing to trade. So we'll search the location there. Whatever that happens to be. Water's going up, which is good. 15 fuel. So she's just mopping up. You get this dirt around the place, as you can see. And once that's mopped up, she'll throw up. Yep, there you go. It's It just it generally happens that way. <laughs> I don't know why. Just the nature of the beast. So, again, strangers will sneak away. Manchester shock avoid them. So let's have a quick look at our view map. Oh, so maybe if we sneak away like that, we can't visit that. I didn't know that. Oh, shame. Okay. Search location. Yes, yeah, so because I did my sneaking away, didn't work. Um, okay. Set up expedition herself. Next person next. Go to there and back. Continue. <laughs> Equip a gas mask. Send party. Yes. Get that done. Sandra can... What can she do? She can scan frequencies, but I think actually fixing the door is important too. Examine items. Oh, so what's this? I don't know. I, did, I actually just skipped over it. Pistol, hatchet, ammo and pistol... Uh, ammo, rifle ammo and pistol ammo. And transistors and bulbs and that sort of thing. Confirm. Excellent. Good. Happy about that. So we're sending <laughs> the the last the the, la well, the only remaining adult in the shelter out. And that could be bad. Let's investigate what the next thing is. Also, it does use that uh, gas mask. So yeah, just going there and back is not that efficient. But I'm hoping we just find a couple of nails and then I can build a box ready for the other search party. It's a it's a it's a risk. It's a yeah, it is a risk. But we'll see what we can do. Bring you the fuel over. You can also broadcast your location to bring people here. So we'll examine items. And this is Yeah. Not it, it ginger root, oak bark, garlic, raw honey, and passion flower. That is, by the look of it. What was it? A clearing. So it was just a clearing that they found. It's not actually showing on the map. Because I think you just find it randomly as you exploring here but there you are so once she's finished with that she will fix that you can also upgrade your doors but we don't have the hinges again accept transmission search location this is sandra here sandra will probably be back in probably only a couple of in-game hours really still across wildlife and it looks hungry oh you handle it or get involved. I guess we're going to have to get involved and it'll probably be a bear. This is why I don't like sneaking through the woods. And it is a bear. So this is bad. 
this is bad. We can try and escape because I don't want to fight a, a black bear, if I'm quite honest with you. Defeat, yes, but we ran away and we didn't get... <laughs> And we didn't get mauled to death. Yeah. One of my previous games, I was searching and I sent the two... The two kids out. And the, uh, well, hunt found a bear. It didn't go well. <coughs> hmm. Apparently strenuous work fixing that door. Examine items, Sandra. And, yeah, because we've searched it out. Nothing much. We'll take what we can. We'll take what we can. And she'll probably be coming back now. We'll see. She's there. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Examine items from this shack. Any of this ginger root and stuff is just pointless for us at this stage. We don't have anywhere to craft. Might as well take some, some of it just to, you know, trade. I mean, we do have the pistol there, but I don't have it equipped. I don't know if I want it equipped. So, fix. Search the location for Jeffrey. View the map. Party 2. Check out Daniel. I can equip this pistol and axe. Equip and carry expeditions. Equip the pistol. Confirm. And for Jeffrey. Equip the crowbar. There you go. Might as well. Water's maxed out, which is excellent for us. And I'm guessing Sandra will be back shortly. At least I hope. <laughs> and on cue, here she comes. With, sadly, nothing of use. And we found no nails so far. So that's bad. But. We'll see what happens when our other party comes back, and we'll send them out probably to one of the big cities. I'll probably send them, I'll probably send them around the forest. We'll examine the items we found here, and three nails. <sighs> there is a dirty. Right, okay, let's get rid of the bark, the honey, the broken laptop. We will take the rope, we will take the wood, and we will take the... So, I used to cut the wood, increasing repair and crafting speed. We will take the sand, because then we can make another cement. And there we go. So, this is Sandra back. There you go. Take all the items. We can do it, so there you go. Just finish transferring items. I'm going to tell her to add fuel to the generator, because it's on 1.5. Actually, no, then no, there's no point. Don't add fuel to the generator. We are fine. She does, however, want a little bit of a sleep, which is totally understandable. The doors are getting there. We have to go outside and repair those filters at some point. Search the location on that one. I'm going to tell Carol to stop, and then she'll immediately throw up. We'll go to clean shelter and get her to do that. Food poisoning does last quite some time in the game. There's other things you find as well. So you've got bleeding. You've got, like, that's like a wound thing. You've got uh, radiated. You slowly lose health as you have these traits when you come into the shelter. That's why I put the medicine cabinet closer to the door. Examine the items that we found. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, no, I confirm that's nothing that we, we want there. So, I think we will leave it there. Not a bad start, I don't think. Let's accept the transmission, search the location. Not a bad start. A shame about Carol getting food poisoning. And in terms of food, we're actually only on 10 cans, so we probably want some more of that. With the lack of nails we have, obviously that's going to cause some problems, but... Overall, I think we've got good water, good expeditions, and all that sort of thing. We are running long gas masks, so we'll have to create some more. We want to make a recycler, another bed, and yeah, that's on our agenda. Oh, and another storage box. Storage box being probably number one priority. Either way, we're leaving it there. Next episode, we will crack on and see how we can get on and if indeed we survive. Let's examine these items before we go. And some wood, some plastic and some metal. I will get rid of the wool. I'll take the metal. I'll get rid of the nails, because we... No, <laughs> no, da, uh, sorry. Uh, we'll take the plastic, and <laughs> we'll confirm that. And actually, is that correct? Yeah, that's fine. And there we are. So next episode, we will crack on and hopefully continue on surviving. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series for what it is thus far. Day 5, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.